This demonstration is of the Venda card, cashless payment, lap dance payment system. It's able to either use cards that will have value encoded on them, in other words, topped up to them on an automatic teller machine, the XCP teller machine that will add value with bills, example, uh, 10s, 20s, 30s, 50s, and $100 bills, and the cash is put onto this card or can be put on key fobs like this. The lap dancers carry this, and what they do <coughs> is take the customer to the automatic teller machine and have value put onto this card. So, cash can be put onto the key fob that you see right here in different values for a lap dance or put onto a card. Your choice. The key fob is very handy because it's got a little clasp, clicks onto the G string of the dancer, and this way they don't lose it by accident, and it's right there to add more value. Once values put onto this little um, memory device known as a key fob or onto a card. The next step is to go to have a lap dance, obviously. So this is a battery operated unit that you're looking at here. It has a lithium battery that adds, will operate for between 8 and 12 hours. To make a VIN for a lap dance, this either card or key pad has had value placed on it. In this case here, for demonstration purposes, this card has a high value and the vendor card terminal has been programmed to operate for $80 for 15 minutes for a lap, private lap dance. So the dancer then takes her key fob or card and goes over and inserts it into the unit. The cards go in from the top, key fobs go in the side like this. It's now taken off that $80 and it's now running down the time. The lap dance or song, whichever way they want to call it, is now started. It's counting down for that 15 minute dance or song or whatever terminology you want to use. At the end of this time, the LED lamps will go out and the dance or song is ended. Now, this little guy is totally portable so that this can be out in the middle of a floor in a nightclub and the lap dancer just brings it over to the table and sets it down like that and takes her card and inserts it into the reader or her key fob. Oh, by the way, I had an illegal card here. I was trying to get in during a time, so it's not going to let me do that. It has safety um, built into it. So we're counting down. We've got 13 minutes and 50 some odd seconds as it counts down during this dance. So just to show you some more things here. Obviously, it's got battery, lithium battery inside, so it has to be charged up every 8 to 12 hours. In the back of the unit, we have a socket where it plugs in. It's very easy to hold. And it has security screws so no one can tamper with it. So at the end of the dance, it'll go to zero and the LEDs will go out. So it's very clear for the dancer that the dance has come to the end, also for her customer. She then takes her key fob, which has zero value on it, and goes out into the nightclub looking for another client, or I should say a card, her card. Now, 
on each. Dance like this for this example is eighty dollars. The customer gets, uh, I mean, should say the customer and the dancer gets a receipt, which shows that it's a uh, fifteen-minute dance and the cost was eighty dollars. At the end of the evening, the dancer then turns in all of her receipts and gets her split of the cash that is in the ATM machine. This application has been designed for adult nightclubs, what's known as gentlemen's nightclubs. For more information, contact XCP Corporation. Go to our website, www.xcpcorp.com, or give us a call, 352-678-3021, or drop us an email at sales at xcpcorp.com. You can see this equipment installed at Silk's Gentlemen's Entertainment Club located in Palm Harbor, Florida. Please stop by and enjoy an evening and watch the system in full operation. You should note that you can have any price at any time set up on this time vending cashless payment system known as the Vendicard cashless timer payment system. Thank you for watching our video.